this is the Herefordshire Farming News. I'm here with Kieran Hollis. Today, we're going to talk about the prize he's just won for innovation and motivation in farming. How do you feel, Kieran? Very good, thank you. I've I've heard in in some some circles they say the best thing to do with these these young lambs is treat them as if they were cows. What would what would you say to that? Yes, I think that would be a very good idea. That's what m- mainly we do with our lambs. Oh, really? What you you give them you give them cow's milk? Yeah, sometimes. Have you ever tried um, custard? I think we did once, but then this lamb didn't survive, so we didn't try it again. One of your innovative techniques in in getting these lambs going, which uh, has really been stirring up the the industry at the moment, is that you play music to your sheep. What, what kind of music do you play to your sheep? Um, bar bar back sheep. That that you like the old the old classics, the yeah. the nursery rhymes. Nothing nothing too rocky, too poppy. Any pop pop music? Um, we do well. We tried one or two times on a lamb. And we tried um, JLS, but it didn't really work. Yeah, didn't really work with JLS. I, what about? Have you tried anything? A bit of rap, bit hip hop. How's that? How's that gone with the with the with the lambs? Um. Well, the best ones in nursery rhymes, like the the new ones now, the eighty songs are the best. Kieran's always motivating his staff, keeping the morale high. And when he's not doing that, he's always thinking hard, very hard, about the next move, the next decision, the next innovation. How can he make, possibly make an almost perfect system better? He tries, he tries, and tries. And this is a... a and this is not something you see every day. Uh, wh- why is there a football here in the uh, in the pen? Well, when they're older, and when we first buy these from the market, we normally um, give them a ball, and then if you leave them about two two or three days, if you come back, you will see that on the back they will have blue dots, purple dots, or anyone. If they've got blue dots, that's enough, that's one team. The purple dots will have, um, that's another team. And the peop- the, the ones without dots normally don't, they don't normally play. They're not very good, they weren't, they didn't make the cut, they didn't make the selection. The tra- no. It's quite a rigorous training process. Yeah. And on the teams, there's normally about, um, 15 sheep on each team. And then there's a ball, and they just kick it about. And if it goes out of the pen anywhere, then they basically it's a goal. Right. Well, uh, play away. Oh yes, they seem very into it. Look at them go. Oh uh, yes. These ones aren't so old, they've only tried it one or two times, so they're not that good at it. Some are and some aren't. Oh, wait, is, is that a goal? It's out, is that a goal? Yes, yes, that's a goal! Oh. Yes! Brilliant! This is, a, this, is, this is serious entertainment, and uh, what, have you ever thought about selling tickets for this? Well, we have a few times, but they're only the old... <laughs> The, the older youth and the older youth. Hey, no, not that. Steady. Sorry, he was, he was, uh, he was fouling there, wasn't he? He was been a bit. He doing what injuries there? I know they do. They do fight a lot. They get a bit aggressive. <laughs> a bit aggressive. And uh, uh, what kind of sort of sanctions do you give them? Um, do you fine them? No, we just don't enter them in the next league. Oh yes, that's uh, you're a real, a real taskmaster. Well, Kieran's uh, motivational training system, he trains the guys ten times a day, and uh, here we catch them just in the middle of it now.
Oh, hello, Giran. Thank you very much for spending the time with, with us today. That's fine, thank you, Will. This is William Corley reporting for Herefordshire Farming News.